pretty, but there's an ugly duckling there. This hard line for the fuel just isn't bent square and crisp. So I think we're going to make it over again. So I'll bring you along as we make this line. I'm going to make this line right here first. So you want to make a fuel line, huh? Well, first thing we got to do is get some straight line. And the way I like to do that is just roll it out. We need to know how long. So we need a piece uh, 18, 23. We'll make it 29 inches long just to be on the safe side. So we need 29 inches. Okay, we got 29 inches. Now what we need to do is straighten this some more. Not too far. Straight enough. Now, the first thing we got to do is make an inverted flare, a double inverted flare. And the first thing you need to do to make sure you get a good one is to uh, dress the end, get all the filings off from the inside from the cut. Then everybody's seen four billion how to flare tubes. So I'm not going to... belabor you. That's the end result of the first flare. And sometimes people call that a bubble flare. But now we got to do the double flare to bend this down in on itself.
and there is a nice double flare. I don't know if you can see that or not. Now, we've actually made up a special tool so that we can make our bends closer to the fitting than what you can with a standard tool. The standard tool looks like this and the special tool looks like this. All we've done is move this a little bit further out and up so that we can put it on top of the nut. So this is the way I bend a pipe. We want this bend to be as close to this nut as possible and uh, we want it to go more than 90 degrees and what we have to do is work our way around here like this, not just bend it, otherwise we'll end up with a flattened piece of pipe. <clears throat> and now my problem is I want to go a little more than that. Okay, our first bend. Marking and making the bends are critical. And what I do is I mark the start of the bend, like right there. And then I mark the outside of the bend, like that. That's actually the inside. So then we put it in the bender with the start of the bend at the beginning. And we hope that we've done everything right and we work our way around. And I'm gonna go that far and then I'm gonna check it. This is the bend we just made with the beginning of the bend right there and this being the inside. Now we want a little bend here to get around here. So we want the bend to start right there. And this is the outside. And we only want a little bend just to ease around that water pump. So that's where our next bend is going to be. pretty good. Now we got to come up to here and bend to come to this. We have our first three bends. We have this one, this one, this one. Now we need one up here to bring us up to this pipe. So we're shooting for this pipe here now. So that's the bottom of the bend and the outside of the bend. We go back to the bender. Bottom of the bend, outside of the bend. Now we'll go check it. We can always put more in. Well, people, this bend is in the wrong spot. So one way you can erase bends, if you're lucky, is to squeeze it in a vise. Like so. Now we want to bend this further down, closer.
the line is starting to take place. We've got one, two, three, four bends in, and we have one more bend to do, and this is probably the most critical bend. We gotta bend it so that it's at the right height and the right position to plug right into there. So that's this next bend, let's plan it. This is the outside. And we want it to end at this height. So that means we have to start halfway up that and halfway down that in order to do that. That's got to be the center of the bend. <coughs> That'll probably go. So we got to put flare on that. Okay, let's see what we got. <coughs> I'm screw it into the pump a little bit. And screw it into the T a little bit. And there's the new fuel line. The only problem is, is this is gold and these are silver, so I've got to make these two pieces up yet. All right, the new piece. I'm making it that much longer, but we got two flares to put on it and I want to add about a half an inch so it, it's straight across. So now's the time to put two flares on here. center piece in here that's slightly longer. This is now much straighter across. We now have gold fittings in this portion of the fuel line. We need to replace this line with gold fittings. Uh, this line should be relatively easy, but as soon as you say that, it's going to be the hardest one we've got to do. What I like to do is I like to make a bend with a pipe that's too long. It's like from there, go down and across to here. And then I can trim to the right length and have my 90 real nice in the right location. So that's what we're going to do. We're not even going to try to measure against this. We're going to take a piece of straight and we're going to put a 90 in it. It's too long and then we'll cut them to fit. We're going to cut a piece of pipe longer than what we need. So let's cut it there. Okay, let's straighten it a little bit. I'd say that's pretty straight. Now we gotta put a 90 in it. longer than what we got. So this 90 is longer and that's going to be close so let's move it up a little bit. Okay that's plenty long and that's plenty long. Nice 90. Now take this over here and say it needs to be Okay, now we put it in the vise. Oops! Almost made a deadly mistake and something you want to avoid. You got to put the fitting on first. If you don't put the fitting on and you flare it, then the pipe is wasted.
so now we have a hard line fuel line all the way from the fuel pump to the carburetor with no rubber in between. You ask where the filter, fuel filter goes? It goes on the low side of the pump, in between the tank and the pump. You don't want junk in the pump. So that ends this video. There'll be more.